So I'm still waiting on the doctor to give me a call back, but I don't really know how I'm going to feel depending on which kind of results I get. So I'm just going to say this part now. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can continue following our journey. We do appreciate all of the support. Um, so thank you very much and I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I hope going into this new year you have fresh outlooks and positive vibes. Hey ladies and welcome back to my channel. So here is the update. Um, if you guys haven't already watched that last video, you're gonna have to do that to kind of get all caught up. I went to the doctor and she did agree to go ahead and do a blood test. She did warn me that it's probably too early and that the blood test may not give a clear answer or indicate a yes or a no. So. It's like another coin toss. It's still up in the air. Jury's still out. I guess you could say I am still in a state of disbelief. Like, I just don't... I feel like it's not... It's not certain yet, and it's not confirmed yet, so I feel like I'm being very guarded in my emotions. Like, I don't want to get excited and get my hopes up because I don't want the big letdown if it's not the case. It's a weird mixed emotion to explain but today I've just been kind of trying to keep my mind off of things so that I can just you know stay positive and stay cool calm and collected. She's supposed to get back to me via email or phone call today so when she does I will give you guys an update on how that goes fingers crossed okay so my doctor just called and of course I was getting ready so of course every time you're waiting for a phone call that's when you wind up missing it they left a voicemail so I'm gonna go ahead and listen to that my heart is pounding right now I'm hoping that she potentially left the results on my voicemail um, if not I'm gonna have to call her back I'm already feeling a little bit emotional. Here we go. The message is only 19 seconds, so. Hi, Maria. This is Dr. K. Maria, I received your message. I wanted to talk to you over the phone versus sending you a message. I'll try to call you back another time. Okay, hope to talk to you soon today. Okay, talk to you later. That doesn't sound good at all. Is that just, I'm not, I'm gonna try to not get in my head. That might just be her protocol to not leave voicemails for anything, so. Well, looks like she is out of her office. She's probably with another patient right now. They're only open for another four hours, so I will probably try to call back. Granted, she's also may want to talk to me um, over the phone because I had a, a issue with the lab yesterday. Some just very unprofessional conduct occurred and I sent her a very long detailed message about that and just about how I would like to be more considered as a patient and she has no control over that but they are within the same hospital so it was more so like I didn't know else, who else to contact about it, so I figured my doctor is the one who sent the labs over. She sent them over with specifications, and it just wasn't a good situation when I went over to the lab. So I wanted to give her kind of a heads up on that because I don't want to deal with that as a patient going to the lab, and I shouldn't have to. I'm not going to get into the details, but you could pretty much say that there was a verbal violation of the HIPAA laws. Because I sent her a really long message that might be what she wants to talk more in detail with me about and maybe why she didn't leave it over the, the voicemail. I really just want to know already. So I feel like right now I am like going a little bit out of my mind. I'm not going to title this video, but I wanted to 
make a video because this time of year can be challenging for us in the TCC journey because, you know, it's another year that we don't have our babies or is it we don't have that vision. If you guys can't tell, I'm on hold. Uh, I swear, front desk staff sometimes can be like, I don't know, they can just come off so freaking rude. Like, listen, she was like, did she tell you to call her back? Um, she's my doctor, so she doesn't have to tell me to call her back. If I want to call my doctor and she has called me, then I'm going to call her back. So, uh, it's just so annoying. So, yeah, the wait continues. So, I wanted to talk to you about your lab results. Okay. So, um, your urine pregnancy test is negative. However, when I checked your blood, you did have some positive hormone levels for pregnancy. So, when do you come and see, uh, when do you come for the flu shot? Um, but I can come in tomorrow. Okay, so, I would like you to get another blood test. Do you feel comfortable going to the lab tomorrow? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to check your HCG level by blood again and then see if it's trending up. If it's trending up, there could be a possibility. I don't want to promise anything, mm -hmm. but there could be a possibility. Um, so then I would not want to give you the other vaccine. So tomorrow, come get flu shot because if you are, I definitely don't want you to get flu. Yeah. Um, because it, it can happen. Um, so I am... I wish I have a clear answer, but I don't. I okay. just have to kind of see. But I normal is less than like nine. Yours is 25. Usually if women are pregnant, it goes up to thousands and ten thousands. So that's like a little bit advanced pregnancy. But what if you're pregnant like really recently and it's still not showing? You know, I am not sure. So we'll repeat the test again. If it's negative tomorrow, if it's about the same, probably not. But if it's trending up, there is a possibility. Next week, I'll probably do another blood test and urine test to confirm. Okay. That sounds okay. good. All right. Um, so, only the flu shot. The other stuff will hold off because if you're pregnant, I, I don't feel comfortable giving it to you. Okay. Sounds and good. And then the tetanus shot we usually give during third trimester of pregnancy, which I can wait until um, later on. Uh, but as, as you said, you want this to be kind of under the radar until you have it confirmed, right? Yes. Okay, so test, and I will send you a message via six-hour messaging if you have it. Okay. Uh, because there are times I usually wait until after I'm done with clinic and it's late, and then sometimes it's unnecessary anxiety for you, you know, waiting yeah. to call you. So <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to message you in between. Okay. Um, and I, I'll guide you in terms of what the direction we're taking. All right. Okay? All, right. All right, that sounds good. Sounds good, sounds good. Hope you have a wonderful uh, weekend, and if any questions, give me a call. Or send me a message. Will do, and same to you, and thank you again for, for handling that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. All right, All right, thank you for letting me know. All right, you take care. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. So she still doesn't know. This is killing me. The not knowing is killing me. It really is. She said my level is 25. And then she said usually if, you know, it's not or it wasn't, it would be under 9. She says I'm at 25, so I guess it'll get done again tomorrow. And then I will go from there. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I will get back to you when I have the next update. Right now I am pretty anxious as I don't have a clear answer so just please pray for me and wish me luck. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye.